Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, Yixin clay versus porcelain, the taste test. In this video, we're gonna be brewing the same tea in Yixin clay and in porcelain, and we're gonna be finding out what the difference is in the cup. This video is gonna go under the tea wares and the drinking with friends playlist. If at any point in time you enjoy this video, then please give the video the thumbs up. The more thumbs in the air, the more tea videos are gonna come your way. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, tut, 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 go click that button. It's Saturday night in London, January, very, very cold. Very I'm cold. here with Celine, say hello. Hello. <laughs> and this video, we're gonna keep it very simple. You've heard me talk about the Yixing clay teapot before. If not, I will put links in the description below and a card will pop up here so you can uh, watch those videos. And you know, this is uh, very well known, right? Mm. That Yixing clay brews differently to other teaware, right? <laughs> and the main reasons are uh, the porous nature, the heat retention, and the minerality in the clay. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to be talking about seasoning the pot. This is an this is our oolong pot, right? Yeah. yeah. It's got the circle on it, so we know. This is our oolong <laughs> pot, um, but it hasn't been used for too long. So it's not about the seasoning. It's more about whether or not the minerality and the heat retention changes the flavour of the tea. Yeah. What do you reckon is going to happen? I reckon we are going to get a difference. Uh, between the two, but I just don't know what. So I'm intrigued. I mean, I'm interested. Well, you haven't tested it like that. We before. haven't actually. It's amazing, actually. I have never mm. actually done a direct AB. I've tasted Yixing, and I've you know we we've done a lot of tasting with the Yixing, and I have a pretty good idea of what I expect. Really. But I'm not going to talk about that too much. Okay, mm. so we have here Midnight Sun. Midnight Sun, right here. I always. Yeah. Get, get confused with the mirror image. So this is Midnight Sun. This is a roasted Jinshuan Oolong. We'll quickly scope it. Do you want to put the kettle on? Yeah. Um, while I scope it. So this is, uh, season is spring 2016. Cultivar, it's a Jinshuan cultivar. So it's that, that creamier, milkier um, cultivar that has more of the lactones, more of those milky notes. The origin is Alishan in Taiwan, so Chai province, uh, Alishan mountain. Mm. The uh, picking is uh, standard uh, up to the third leaf and the processing is that it goes through all the normal processing of a Taiwanese oolong, but this is charcoal roasted. So it's a charcoal mm. roasted Jinshuan from Alishan and finally elevations around one and a half to 2000 um, meters. So high altitude tea. And it's one of my favorites. It is one of her favorites, I have to say. <laughs> um, do we have cups around? Oh, these are the cups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, very simple. We've got uh, how many grams? Uh, 11 grams. 11 grams. Um, these, this Yixing pot is about uh, it's just under 200 mil, I think. Yeah. And this guy one is about 180. So you're not going to, don't fill up to the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of cool. go up to about here. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to brew both of these. Um, and we're going to try and keep everything exactly the same and then we're going to blind taste. We've stickered one of them. I'm not going to tip it, tip tea all over myself, but there's a green sticker on one of them um, which we'll assign to the Yixing pot. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to blind taste and find out exactly what the differences are. We expect there to be a difference, but it's, you know, not just about better or worse. It's actually about trying to describe what that difference is. Yes. <laughs> so there we go. <sighs> nice. Now, one of the things about the Yi Xing is its ability to hold heat. Mm. And the porcelain it has more um, doesn't hold heat as well. It's better than glass, mm. but it doesn't hold heat as well. And so therefore the temperature, even though we're gonna warm up both of these tea wares now, the temperature will will decrease at a faster rate with the porcelain compared to the Yixing. Now, for some tea types, that's a good thing. So for like green teas, oh, yeah. um, you, you don't want this sustained high heat mm. for um, the whole brewing period. You kind of want that drop off to happen in order to maintain the aromatics and in order to not stew the tea at all. Whereas with oolongs mm. and pu'as, mm. it's 
generally considered that you want to hold the heat for a longer period of time. So that's one of the reasons why Yixing clay is renowned for producing better quality oolongs and pu'ers. Yeah. The other thing is the minerality. So the minerals in this, because this is an unglazed pot, therefore the, the water is reacting with the material and the minerality tends to make the tea different. I'm not going to say exactly what the difference is because I don't want to pre, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to pre, um, prepare you. Yes. Okay. How are we doing? We want 100 degrees here, really, really, really hot. We're at 90 now. Okay. So we're going to warm up both of these tea wares. So yeah. let's uh, go for it. Pour the hot water over because we're going to heat it up again afterwards. Oh, okay, cool. So. Pour some more over the top. Okay. So we want to make sure we get a good level of heat. With the porcelain, it's not such a big deal because, it, it, as I said, it's faster in terms of its conductivity, so it will it will heat up quicker. Mm -hmm. But with the yixing, you want to take the time to, to do that. Oh, fine, perfect. Okay, so we're going to do a rinse now. Yeah. So that will further heat up the teaware. So I'll do this one. So cold in London today. So cold. Oof, really, really cold. So a roasted oolong. Oh, that's so good. Uh. Here you go. Okay, so I'll put this one in here. I'll put this one in here. Okay, so... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. There you go. I think it's because I washed the cup. Okay, there you go. So exactly the same amount. So let's rinse this one first. Yeah. So it's all about maintaining heat with these uh, with these oolongs. Yeah. Here you go. Mm, it's not so good. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh. Mm, that beautiful roasted taste, a uh, beautiful roasted aroma, but already. It's got that milky and slightly milky, nutty, and that little, go on, I can see I'm you want to say, say something. I'm going to say, it's interesting though, because already from the lid, yeah. it smells different. Yeah. Which is How would you describe cool. the difference? This one's more of the roasted notes and kind of an earthiness to, to it. And this one's got more of the... Uh, lighter, uh, kind of fruitier notes that yeah. comes through. I like the completely, milkier notes. I completely agree. This is already showing much lighter yeah. notes. Yeah. This is, is is showing the base a lot yeah. more, isn't it? Yeah, the base. Okay, yeah. so let's brew, but let's brew the yixing first. And remember, don't pour all the way. Make sure it's boiling, boiling water. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Okay. Should I start yixing first? Yeah, yeah. Say? Yixing first. So that. So, oh, I'm gonna get the stopwatch out. Yeah. Okay. So not all the way yeah, the stop, stop, stop. That's good. All right. So my stopwatch is going, and this uh, yixing pot has a longer pour, obviously, than the guy one. So we're going to time it so when the last drop comes out, I know exactly what the brew time is, and then we can copy the same yes. with that. So I'm starting to pour at 20 seconds. Yeah. But we're gonna see how long it it's takes. It's usually about a 10 second pour. Okay, so that's 32 seconds total. Okay. okay so that's our Yi Xing. Cool. Now I'm going to pause, reset, go for it. It's hot, hot water, yeah? Yeah. Still same. I, I, I rebrewed it. Okay, so all the way to the top and go. Okay, so you want to pour that at about 30 seconds, something yeah. like that. And then we're going to see if there's any difference in color. Hopefully we're going to brew this relatively at the same strength. Okay. So with these these oolongs, these especially Taiwanese oolongs, because it's gone through so many processing steps, it's gone through the wither. Are you watching it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's gone through the, the wither, the, the, the sun wither, and then the indoor wither. And then it's gone through the... Um, the 
resting phase, the rolling phase, and then it's gone through the fermentation phase, and then it's heated, and then it's rolled again. It's gone through so many processes that the tea has really built up a lot of aromatics. Okay, yeah, let's put these away. Should we show the leaves, actually? Yeah, sure. I mean, Go you for guys... it. You oh, show it. Probably know it already. Yeah, you see it's starting to open up. Yeah. And it's a nice darker oolong for a winter day. All right, so do you want to show the liquor? Yeah. To everyone out there, what are we thinking? Is it looking relatively the same or different? Different. Oh, how? Uh, Which one do you think is darker? This one. Slightly, yeah. Slightly, yeah. Slightly and a slightly different tinge, colour. It's a little bit more orange, isn't it? It's got yeah. a little bit more orange. This is a bit more of a kind of brown colour. Do you, do you think it's because the yishing pot retains the heat, so actually... I think it's a combination of the heat and also the um, minerality. Okay, so you're going to blind taste first? Yeah, okay. All right, so <laughs> close your eyes and let's figure out what the differences are. Are you ready? Yes. So the Yixing mm. pot has a green sticker underneath it. Mm. Okay, I'm going to put one here, one here. Okay. okay, so see if you notice a difference. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, interesting. This one tastes kind of smoother. Sorry, which one? This one. Okay. But this one. It has a lot going on, like a lot of aromatics, but it's just a bit stronger, like less smooth than this one. So more more drying, more astringent? Yeah, more dry, I'd say. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Final answer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what you'd expect, because this one is, yeah, this one is, finish it off just so that we can show the viewers out there. That one has a green sticker right so that's the yixing and mm. with yixing clay the um what you'd expect to happen is that it the minerality makes it smoother and that means you can brew stronger you can brew harder which is why it's 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 great for those puers and those darker oolongs or even quite astringent oolongs mm. that you want to really pull out a lot of the aromatics of the the leaf mm but maintain smoothness so you don't have too much of that biting astringency. Can I have a go? Yeah. Okay, hmm. so you make sure you... Okay, so that's that one. All right, okay. thank go you. Go for it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Ah, I'll make it full. Nutty, roasted, but still got the high notes. Mm. What are those high notes? It's kind of slightly herbaceous, the high notes. It's not, it's not so much fruity, although there's, there's a juiciness to it. It is definitely juicy. But nice and smooth. Oh, very different. Isn't it? I wasn't expecting such a big difference. Right, this personally. this is a lot, for me, this is a lot drier. Yeah. For me, this one. It's got, I would say that it's got a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more of the high notes, but very, very, very small. Ah, okay. But this one is a lot more round, a lot smoother. Yeah. Just, I would prefer this one. I'm hoping this is green. It is. Okay, we so agree. <laughs> let's let's brew it let's one go. more time and let's do it now. Yeah. Harder. Okay, go, pour. And I will put it back to the camera app. And then I can show you these leaves which are opening up really nicely now. Oh. Oh, so good. Oh, the smell on the guy one lid is just so beautiful what would you describe it as why would i describe it as 
So can you smell a difference actually now? Let's see if you can. Oh, I, I find it really... <laughs> oh, that's a good description. <laughs> I find it really hard to find descriptors. You're very good at it. Um, yeah, but this... It's... Actually, I have to say, if, if I had to choose which smell I preferred, I prefer the smell of the guy one. I agree. Because it's just, it's more clean, it's more, yeah. um, not clean, more neutral. It's more, more, neutral. more the smell of the tea. Okay. Whereas this, I'm smelling like the, earth the whole earth. kind of interaction that's happening. Do you want to just check yeah. if the liquor is still slightly different or if it's... It is. Oops. I mean, Let me just see. I think. Yeah, again, yeah. that looks more orange to me. Yeah. It's just richer and more orange. Okay, the, the, the hold on. Is I don't, it on focus? I don't, it's not focus. Yeah. Yeah, is I think it, you guys can see it as well. No, I don't think it is. Oh, now it's in focus. Yeah. So, yeah, it is different. But, you know, it, it's also, we've got different shaped gong dao bays, and that will refract the light slightly differently oh, if that's we're going to get really geeky on it. That's true. Okay, so you ready? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Close your eyes. No cheating. Okay. There you go. I quite like these tests because it's like no pressure. <laughs> no pressure? Yeah. Speak for yourself. <gasps> oh. What do you mean? <laughs> you could just taste it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Man, it is instant. Okay, which one? This one tastes smoother. But let me, let me just, hang on, give me a sec. Do you feel that the difference is even stronger now that we brewed it harder? No, it's similar. Okay. Uh, to me anyway. I like them both. It's just that this one's got a bit more of a perkiness to it. It's got a bit more of a, you know, dryness to it. Which is sometimes quite nice. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. I'll stop closing my eyes now okay. because I don't need to. All right, so yeah, you got it. That's uh, that's the Yixing. Yeah. Do it for me and then... Do you want to share my cup, Dad? Yeah, that's no, fine. Just <laughs> pour a bit more. Oh. <laughs> what, that, is that the Yixing? Yeah, that's the Yixing. Oh, okay. That's the Yixing. Okay. Oh, I should know now. Hey, buddy. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You might get it wrong for once. <laughs> it no. will happen. It will definitely happen. Ooh, that's quite strong, that one. Yeah. It's nice, but I would say that that was a bit overbrewed. Oh, really? That one's not. Wow. That is. What did I get it wrong? Oh, no. <laughs> now I'm paranoid. <laughs> now I'm paranoid. Let me taste again. Oh. So they were brewed for the same amount of time. Yeah. But for me, they're very, very different. Yeah. And I have a clear winner. I would definitely like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At one point, I thought I gave it away because I was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> and then no. you didn't see it. So. <laughs> Clear as day and night. Test it out. Test it out it. yourself. If you've got a Yixing pot and you've got a, a porcelain pot or a porcelain guy one, I would advise testing it out with um, astringent teas like, you know, oolongs and raw puas. They're the ones that are going to present it the, the quickest. Sure. But, you know, it's not about the seasoning. It's about the, the heat retention. But I think more than that because actually the temperatures were very much the same yeah more than that it's the minerality of these babies it's amazing that just mean that you can brew harder you can brew stronger you can dare i say it make yourself get tea drunk quicker because really? you know well because you you can brew stronger shots of tea isn't it ah oh, that's true you can brew stronger shots of tea so it, it just means that you can mm. you can pull more out of these leaves um without having that that, that, you know, dryness, that excessive um, bitterness and astringency. <gasps> Would you think it's worth having aged white tea in a yixing then? That's the subject of another video. 
Yeah. I think we've got enough in here. That's it, T heads. If you made it to the end of this video, then please give the video the thumbs up. Check out our YouTube playlist and let us know if there are any videos that you would like us to make. If you're ever in London, then please come and visit us in Camden. Say hi and taste our wares. Yeah. If you have any questions or comments.